Um, good afternoon, everyone. So, today my topic is a spatial and temporal field in the estimate of suspended sediment in the Yangtze River channel. Maybe it's, a need, it's different because this title didn't contain the nutrient. So, I just focus on the suspended sediment in the Yangtze River basin. Um, topic uh, is uh, five things. The first is uh, motivation, second is the data sources, and then the uh, model distribution. And the next is the results and the discussion. Finally, is the summary. And so, you know, this is uh, I just uh, got some small pictures to describe all the a source of the sediment and also the sediment transport, uh, like this one. This is, uh, for example, this is a trans. Sorry. This is from the also we can. This is from the because of the soya erosion and also with the uh, with the runoff and then sediment from the mountain areas and then transported to the uh, river and then to the Samoshi. This is it contains based on the diameter of the sediment we can it, it may contain the dissolved load or the suspended load and also the bed load. Yeah, so this picture is shows the uh, shows the sediment transport in the river systems, and those. The last is uh, also this is in Japan, the so Muru, uh, Muru River, and we can see from. Yeah, also we can see this is the uh, uh, sediment from the mountain areas and was. Uh, Transported to the river uh, to the ocean. So we can also the excessive sediment, uh, sediment which can impact uh, material fluxes and also it will affect the uh, affect the aquatic systems. Also it uh, it will affect the water quality because it contains some nutrient like the uh, nitrogen and the phosphorus. And also it will affect the channel and also the area problems in the rivers. And also this is just a focus on China. China has several basins. This one is the Yangtze River Basin and this one is the oh, this is the Yellow River Basin, this is the Yangtze River Basin, and also this is the Pia River Basin. The most uh, the serious problem is for the sediment is I think is in the Yellow River Basin. But uh, today's study just focus on the Yellow River Basin because of the uh, establishment of the, the three coaches dam. This is uh, just the upstream of the uh, Yangtze River, uh, yeah, Yangtze River, and we can see the this is the typical, uh, uh, typical landslide. It contains uh, much of uh, sediment, and it uh, transported to the um, uh, to the to the main Yangtze River. And also, this is the transport from the river uh, river systems. And also we can see this one, this is because in the uh, Yangtze River Basin there are uh, many times was built, so it will uh, affect the uh, sediment transportation, so. And then finally, finally this is the uh, Yangtze River Theater, this is the type of, like the Professor Han focused this area. So also this this uh, the big issues the, uh, the the water resources and also the sediment productions in the Yangtze River and the Yellow River and also the Huai River. 
As we can see, so most of the most of the areas probably is uh, in the yellow river basin, and the next is the Yangtze river basin. Yeah, the problem is uh, usually we we may estimate the um, estimate the city mantle load. Uh, first, we need to get the instantaneous. Uh, it's the instantaneous data, and then we get the daily data, and then we get the weekly data, and next we use the weekly data to estimate the monthly data. Also, next is for the seasonal data, and also we get the yearly data. This is this is this is this is me I just take for the instantaneous data for the here and then to the to make some uh, to make some experiment and they, and then use some models to get the this uh, yes level basin state uh, what we need database as we are saying usually we use the concentration we need the instantaneous concentration and also the time period uh, and then to get the uh, get the uh, uh, get them uh, to estimate the sediment loads or the other components. But, but uh, for the discharge, we can get the maybe by minutes, by, by second or by minutes, we can get the, uh, the discharge. But for the sediment and the other, the sediment also the other um, components, we cannot get the uh, we, we can get the, get the data for every minute or for every second because we cannot. So problem is like here we in China we maybe we get the uh, we measure we we measure the uh, the concentration just for one time uh, for one time for this day or for for one day to represent this month and so. Sometimes we get the data missing and also we get the uh, data sensing. So for this one is, uh, I think, for this one is for the, for the instrument's limited, limitation. So we cannot get the, for the accuracy, we need to use some models to estimate the, estimate the weekly data and also the monthly data. And so, so this is the river basin. As we, uh, this is this is uh, this is from the Qing, the source is from the Qinghai province, and then from here, here is the, uh, the three gorges area. Uh, three gorges area. This is the Yichang Station. This is uh, also this is Sichuan. This is Chongqing. I think, uh, and also this is Hubei province. This is Wuhan, and then this is Taipei. Or Shanghai is here, Hangzhou. So for this one, because the uh, because of the three three gorges, uh, three gorges stands, it will affect the sediment the sediment transportation in the Yangtze River Basin. <laughs> so this is a big data area for the yellow area. This is a big data area. This is the Yichang, this is uh, for the this is for Chongqing, this this place, this is place and to the Yichang station. And also three gorges is here where um it will if if, if uh, some places uh, near this uh, the main street where the big data Also, we, we can see this is uh, this is a different. This is the changes of the of the China area. This is uh, yes, the three gorges was built in, was built or completed in uh, two thousand six. As we can see, the uh, it's a uh, a much difference from here to here. So uh, the second thing is how to how the three gorges stand. Affect the sediment, uh, the sediment. So, 
So here we will just choose the three stations from here. This is just uh, um, next to the uh, next to the three good stand. Also, is uh, we get the discharge for the uh, for the land team uh, stations to estimate the discharge on these three stations. But for the uh, uh, for the sediment concentration, we cannot get the or we cannot get the uh, or data. Usually, we one month we only has maybe ten, um, ten samples or the uh, twenty samples. So we need to based on this data, we need to estimate the monthly data. So usually, we use this. Uh, an equation to extend extend the uh, station's discharge, and then we get uh, the um, for the every day. This is just for to how to extend the um, uh, the discharge for the each stations use the labor stations, and also this one I just use the use this equation to. Uh, evaluate the um, sediment loads. This, this one. And also for the, for in this in, in this estimator, it use the uh, adjusted maximum likelihood estimate uh, estimation because of the some data was uh, was missing and also some data miss. Uh, so some data, uh, some data ring. Oh. This is a criteria to choose the which to to choose the which equations. And also for example, this is uh, we choose the last the, the last ISC value to choose the uh, equation line. And also, this is how to get how to estimate the uh, every parameter for this thing, uh, for these equations. And also, we get the R square. This here is uh, uh, point line, uh, point line uh, one seven. Finally, we get the in the each station we we choose the uh, we we choose the different uh, we 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 choose the different. Um, Equations and also get the different uh, uh, values for each parameters, and so also we we'll use, we'll, uh, we'll use the um, uh, last value to to evaluate the estimation for the actually estimation. Also, this is for the uh, for the daily for every uh, for every month, and so we can uh, in this paper it shows the. Uh, it, it, it shows a decreasing trend in the eastern station from the 2000 to 2012. And also this one is for the every month. And so also we can get, get, the, uh, get the larger loads in the rainy season. This is the eastern station. We just choose the eastern station. Um, after the uh, after the finish uh, after the three good state uh, three good stand it has been it is significant it was significant affected by the uh, three good stands from here but the water discharge is almost the same this is also for the different uh, for the uh, for the uh, uh, for the uh, uh, for the July, just for the rainy season. Also, we also choose the different. This is the cross section for the uh, uh, for the yet level uh, for the yet level. Also, the distance is from the three gauge stand. And so, uh, in from the from the two thousand three to two thousand twelve, we can make uh, much uh, much sediment was. Was cut from the in uh, was was cut in the. Uh, I think the time is almost. Okay. <laughs>
So this is um, this is um, conclusions, and so also we can see just to know the three uh, questions how to affect the uh, how to affect the uh, sediment transportation from here. Thank you. So there are two questions about this. Please. Okay, okay. First, I think uh, for uh, believe it, I think uh, first it uh, for the flood control. Yes, you know, we, uh, as we know, in uh, 1998, uh, in 1998, there are big floods in Changjia River Basin. But uh, for this one, it uh, adjusts the uh, water discharge in the rainy season, so it uh, significantly reduces the, uh, the, uh, the flooding in this area. And also, like you, the, um, the other problem is for the uh, water quality, also in the, uh, in the eutrophication and also the landslide in the upstream, in the upstream of the uh, of the Yangtze River Basin. So we need to deal with this problem. But uh, uh, in China's government, it's uh, I think it's very difficult because uh, before before this uh, three goods, uh, we did not maybe we didn't uh, consider this uh, this problem or how to um, how to deal with this problem. I think that to help answer that question a little bit more, the uh, there's really a kind of a, you have to really consider the Yangtze all the way to Shanghai. Yes, yes. And the coast and the delta. And if you look at that part of the equation, the loss of sedimentation is really negative because that impacts uh, food and, and quality for fisheries downstream. Uh, upstream, you have the issue of slowing yes, down yes. the river and then you have the uh, residence time issue, you know, causing bloom. So it's a very complex set of ecological uh, consequences. Yes, yes. Uh, the negative uh, problem, I think, is a uh, typical problem is in the Dentin, uh, Dentin, uh, Dentin Lake Basin and also the Poyan Lake Basin because uh, this is, uh, this dam, uh, this dam is uh, affected the, I think, uh, cut the water resources. So for this uh, lake basins, uh, we need uh, much, uh, we need much water how to get the, to produce uh, uh, much food or some other things. Yes. Okay, so it's going to be a good time to change to the next presentation. Thank you very much. Uh, well, uh, thank you so much.